you know, our generation, I think is very much in a place where they want to know what they're called to do. Like, uh, y'all know I'm on TikTok now uh, and Instagram, you know, social media. People are always talking about, you know, what's my calling? Help me find my calling. Um, and now you guys know, uh, finish your food. Um, that is uh, very important to us, especially right now in this season. Um, and that workshop that I do is so important to me because it helps people find not just what they're called to do, but what they're called to enjoy. It's very important, see? And I want this video to talk just a little bit about what we do in that workshop, um, but just an interesting take on how to find your calling. What is your calling? What makes up your calling? You know, people want to know this and it's so important. And you know, today I was just chilling. I was in prayer and God really started to speak to me. Um, it's so, so important. And he, he gave me a picture. And I want you guys to imagine this for a moment. When you love somebody, when you really love somebody, if they call you and they have a need, if they call you and they just simply need something, you would drop everything to go take care of them. You would stop everything you were doing to go meet that need. Only for the person you love. See? When it's someone you really love, even if it's an inconvenience to you, you will stop and drop everything for them. Simply because you love them. And your love for them will literally be... Your, your love for them, despite the inconvenience... They become priority. See? And so that's so important to understand when we think about our walk in relationship with God. See? When you think about when God calls you, see? It's when you're motivated by love. It's when you're moved to begin to meet needs. It's when you're moved to begin to solve problems. It's when you are moved to begin to heal the hurting. And it's when you're moved to begin to bless the broken. It's so vital, so important. That's where you see what you're called to do. And see, this calling on your life has little to do with what's going to make you rich and have you live in poolside. That's not what this is about. See? And, and, and it's interesting because... You know, someone said to me um, something about how God doesn't need them. And they were using that as a reason why they, they don't show up to certain things. But as I think about that simple truth, God doesn't need any of us, but he chooses us. And I want you to think of it like this. So, so very vital. Who is the person that you tell all your good news to first? Who's the first person you call when you want to tell somebody good news? Who's the first person you call when you want to tell somebody about what you accomplished, what you're up to? Who's the first person you call because you can depend on them? And whoever that person is, you may not know it, but that person feels so special that you've entrusted them with your heart. That person feels so special when you've entrusted them with your life, with your updates, and, and, and you, you, you know, you, they'll ask you, hey, who else did you tell? And you'll say, I only told you. And they say, wow, that makes me feel so special. They didn't have to tell you, but they chose to. And so when I think about the fact that God has called us to do anything, that God speaks to us about anything, that God has a specific calling for me, it is true, God does not need me. But what makes me take the calling of God so serious on my life is because he chose me. See, God could choose anyone. He can use anyone. He can speak to anyone. But he chose you. 
He chose you. It's very vital to understand. And so I pray you guys really meditate on those things. What? When are you motivated by love? What do you do? What do you do when you begin to attempt to meet people's needs? What comes out of you when you start to solve problems? See? What does that look like? When you're beginning to heal people who are hurt or address places that are hurting, what does it look like whenever you go to bless those who are broken? What does that look like for you? Because you'll know where you're called. It'll always be in the same conversation of your gifting. It'll always be in the same conversation of what God has empowered you to do. So God has gifted me to encourage people. God has gifted me um, to pray, to intercede, to love, to give, to evangelize. God has gifted me with certain things. And so it's vital that I understand every time God calls me to do something, it's probably going to be in line with where I'm gifted. See? So what are your gifts? And that's why I love the workshop so much because we help people put language to that. And I want to say this before we go. There's what you're called to do and what you're called to enjoy. Never mix the two unless God mixes the two. And for for clarity purposes, I enjoy making films and short films. I enjoy that. And God has called me to use what I'm called to enjoy to reach people. And so I have been blessed with an opportunity that, and even what I'm called to to enjoy, that ends up blessing people. And the reason why I say that is because if you mix the two up, you'll think that your calling will always be something to enjoy. Your calling, for the most part, will always be something that may be inconvenience to you. Because you don't pick and choose when God chooses you. It's just that when he does, because we love him, we drop everything. So that's very vital, very important. People are struggling to find their calling. And it has everything to do with who they are. Because you know what I'm learning, y'all? And this is so freeing to understand. God has called you to be you. Very profound. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. I'm telling you one of the most freeing revelations that I ever received is that God loves me. (laughs) For some people, they think it has to be this deep thing. Like, what is my purpose? Your purpose is every day you choose to wake up. Every day there's something that you are to do. A purpose that you can serve. A way that you can contribute. And it's powerful. And I always tease people, you know, God has gifted me with humor. I love to make people smile. And so one of the things I'm called to do, shoot, and called to enjoy. Every day I wake up, I know I'm going to make someone smile today on purpose. <laughs>